we want to evaluate the given absolute value expressions. Notice for the first two examples, we have the absolute value of a difference and a difference of absolute values. For the first absolute value expression, we treat the absolute value as if it is a set of grouping symbols, and therefore we simplify inside the absolute value first, which means we need to simplify negative four minus three. And if it's helpful, remember we can think of negative four minus positive three as negative four plus negative three. Negative four minus three, or negative four plus negative three, is equal to negative seven, which gives us the absolute value of negative seven. If we need to, we can show the difference or the sum on the number line. Starting at zero, we go left four units for negative four. And then because we are subtracting three or adding negative three, we go left three more units. Which gives us negative seven. And now to determine the absolute value of negative seven, remember the absolute value of a number is a number's distance from zero, and distance is always positive. Notice negative seven is seven units from zero, and therefore the absolute value of negative seven is positive seven. Next we have the absolute value of negative four minus the absolute value of three. Negative four is four units from zero, and therefore the absolute value of negative four is positive four, and then we have minus the absolute value of positive three. Positive three is three units from zero, and therefore the absolute value of positive three is positive three, and four minus three is equal to one. Let's take a look at two more examples. Next we have the absolute value of negative five plus eight. Simplifying inside the absolute value, negative five plus eight is equal to positive three. And again, we could model the sum on the number line. For negative five, we start at zero and move left five units to negative five. And then because we are adding positive eight, we move right eight units from negative five which gives us positive three. And since positive three is three units from zero, the absolute value of positive three is positive three. Next we have the absolute value of negative five plus the absolute value of positive eight. The absolute value of negative five is equal to positive five because negative five is five units from zero. So this gives us positive five plus, the absolute value of eight is positive eight, because positive eight is eight units from zero. Which gives us five plus eight, which is equal to 13. I hope you found this helpful.